Hello everybody, Sir Digby with you all again, uh, bringing you episode 1, not really episode 1, but more of a special episode of uh, Train Simulator 19. I uh, figured this would be a very special episode because, um, special for this weekend, Dovetail Games is allowing you to uh, drive the Chatham Mainline mod for free as um, they're approaching the 10 year anniversary of Train Simulator. So they figure... Hey, this line's pretty much right in our backyard, so let's give this to everybody for free just for the weekend. Um, again, it's only a deal for a couple days. It will be available again for about $20, I believe, once the weekend subsides. I figured to uh, hop into a little special mission to showcase the DLC. Driving the Class 465 Networker on the Chatham Main Line. Bit of a sprint route early morning here, as you can see, just before 8 a.m., bit rainy as well um, right now we just uh, pulled out of a yard heading into London's Victoria station they are going to uh, flip on back to the rear of our train and then do a quick two-stop route to Kent House and then ending our service at Beckenham Junction generally when playing train simulator 19 I usually you know have a soft spot for the American diesel engines. Doesn't matter to me, Amtrak uh, for passenger service or for freight or uh, for Metra, you know, at the uh, racetrack DLC in Chicago to Aurora because that's my backyard. But I do have a bit of a soft spot for these electric engines based out of London. We are pulling into Victoria now on the platform. Start easing back with the brakes. As excellently somehow tripped the emergency brake. That's going to deduct a few points. Throw the reverser back and forward. Pull ahead again. We'll get as close to that bumper as I can. As the rear of our train is now in the station. Get the full service here. Let's start loading our passengers over here. Set everything back to neutral. Back on this part of the train. Uh, whoop, wrong button there. It's up there. Turn the wiper off back here. Go flip to the right car. Here we are. It's back up and running. Get that going. Turn the lights on. Put the reverser forward. As we are now on our way to Kent House. Just under 8 miles away. Again, it is going to be a bit of a sprint service, though. So you have to be wary of the signals. And there are uh, various amounts of downhill track that I have to keep my eye out for as well. So creeping along here. Um, right now our ETA is about two and a half minutes behind schedule, so going to have to make up some time here. Without uh, deducting so many of our points, aim for a gold star if possible. Okay, looks like we're going to be switching onto the leftmost track here. Here we are. Start getting ready to boost our speed up to 20 miles an hour. There we are. Riding out the door here. You can tell rainy as usual in London. A bit windy as well, if you could possibly hear that. As, um... Not too familiar with the Lon uh, with the landmarks out there. Always wanted to go to London, though, but I believe that's Battersea Power Station up ahead. At least I hope it is. Although, if all your power stations look like that out there, that's absolutely fantastic. Go fire up to 40 miles an hour here. Should time it perfectly to get into the 60 mile an hour zone, but we're going to have to slam it back down to 35 shortly after that. Hop back in the cab for that.
All right. Just idle along here. So we're going to coast right into that 35 mile an hour zone. Here we are. Taking this track downhill. Got to watch my speed. Downhill section looks a bit steep. Got to be wary of any speeding penalties here. Make it up sometime, but still two minutes behind schedule. Still have about six and three quarters miles to make that up, though. So not too worried at the moment. I would hop out into a third person view for everybody. Apologize for me not doing that, but uh, generally I like to, or I tend to lose focus when I'm out there. And I'm just trying to uh, stay focused on the task at hand. And start hitting the brake again. Use the incline here to our advantage to slow the train down. Just got a 20 mile an hour zone coming up here. Gas it up again. Go right on the dot, 20 miles an hour. We're now up to 45 miles an hour. We'll make up some more time here. Now we're just about a minute 25 seconds behind schedule. Making up a decent amount of time for the amount of distance we've covered so far. Here we go with max throttle now. Start reeling back. Ooh. Maybe a bit jarring of a turn there, but doing all right so far. No drive quality penalty. I think it might be alright to go back to the door view now. So we can take a look at uh, suburban London. Although it might not be the suburb again. Never been there, so I'm kind of talking out my butt here. Apologize for that. Go up to 60 miles an hour. Use some speed here, make up some more time. Now just a minute behind schedule, or a little under that. And slam it back down to 45 again. Oh, hit the emergency brake again. See, unlike the other electric engines that we have on the Southwestern service, such as on the uh, Portsmouth direct line. They at least give you the warning to hit that little dead man's brake button or whatever. This, don't get that courtesy. 
I should have been more vigilant on clicking that though. Uh boy. There we go. Throw forward. Put the gas forward again. Come on. Get a move on. There we go. So that's my bad. Um, again, should have been more vigilant on clicking that. Uh, I think we're four miles out. I think we're definitely going to be behind schedule, unfortunately. But yeah, we'll try uh, minimizing this delay as best as we can. Six miles an hour. Let's get the rear of the train across that line. Off we go. Back under one minute behind schedule. Three miles out. Just a little uh, emergency brake mishap. Not the end of the world there, as we're still making up time. So, quite content so far. Just did that to amuse myself. A little spooky. We are out of the tunnel. Oop, sped a little bit there. Only 10 seconds behind schedule. Definitely made up some time in the 60 mile an hour zone. Start reeling the back with the brakes a little bit. We're now a half mile away from the beginning of Ken House platform. You get in there okay to set us up for a decent run to the very end at Beckenham Junction. A yellow signal up ahead. Got the emergency signal off in time. Good. So no more emergency brake mishaps. Gotta start getting us down to 40 miles an hour though. Get there right in time. There we are. There we go pulling onto track four for Kent House now. Really gotta dial back the brakes. Really got dialing back. Full service. Come on, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Slow down. 
A little more, a little more, a little more, a little more. Oh, this is gonna be close. This is gonna be really close. Uh, are we there? Are we there? Okay. I think we got right on the dot. Open doors. About five seconds off time. I think we made it okay. I think we'll be just fine there. Kind of an empty platform this time in the morning. Pretty dark for 8 a.m. Anyways, hop back in the cab. Start dialing the brakes back a little bit. Okay. Get back forward. 0.8 miles to Beckenham Junction. Should get there right on the dot. No time penalty there. So, luckily the game was a bit forgiving to us. So we should close out this mission as close to a perfect score as we could possibly get. Of course, we had those couple miscues with brakes and that brief speeding section, but we'll be all right. But so I got a red signal here though, so this is gonna be our hiccup. Come on, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. I just gotta wait for signal clearance at this point. Like that's our friend up there. He's got switch tracks. Looks like. I think he's just about moved on over. So can we go now? Please. There we go. Yellow signal. Throw it forward. Got a minute and forty seconds to spare here. Should make it no problem. Pulling into platform four now. I think we're actually going to get in early, about 20 seconds early, about. So luckily that uh, stop signal did not hold us up for long. Start putting on the brakes, but let's get as close to this bumper as we can. We just still got a half minute to spare. As it did the emergency brake again. again. Come on, first or forward, we get all these cars in the green. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Just hopefully I can get as many of these cars in the green as I possibly can. All right, here we go. Full service, slow round down. Open doors. And welcome to Beckenham Junction, and welcome to the end of the line. I'd like to thank you all for uh, tuning in for this uh, brief little sprint here on the chat and mainline using, uh, once again, this Class 465 Networker. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. I have some more train simulator content coming for you guys soon. And as always, thanks for watching.